My father would tell me of a time before we left the Earth, when we were still confined to the surface of the planet. But our curiosity soon changed that. Human ingenuity soon carried us aloft, as our dreams of building a road to the stars propelled our first cosmonauts and astronauts into orbit. By the time I was born, our first space stations were already circling the Earth. Learning how to engineer for everything we needed to live beyond the biosphere. And I grew up dreaming of such adventures and challenges. These dreams propelled me into science and on to become an engineer joining the quest to build better systems for supporting life in space and even more ambitious space stations. Two, one, boost to ignition and liftoff, returning to the space station, paving the way for future missions beyond. Today, over 15 years on, the International Space Station is as much a laboratory as it is a spaceship. The technology used to track a patient's eye and precisely direct the laser scalpel for surgery to correct eyesight was first developed for use in space. This underwater robot, developed to train for spacewalks in neutral buoyancy pools on Earth, is now being tested in the Mediterranean Sea for potential mining applications and for locating lost aircraft black boxes. And learning how to sustain human life in orbit has meant cultivating food in challenging conditions. That's led to breakthroughs in the way food is grown, monitored and conserved on Earth. Just three examples of dozens of technological breakthroughs kick-started by research on board the space station, which are already having an economic impact on Earth. As an engineer, I'm proud to say that I've contributed to this great project to push the human spirit outwards. Space is becoming a part of our culture, our commerce, our community. And new markets are emerging as we learn what's really possible when we build a new home beyond our planet. With the ISS, we have truly colonized low Earth orbit. Commercial flights are already providing services, and the next generation of orbiting space stations will become even more science-focused. Low Earth orbit is becoming an increasingly commercial destination. At ESA, we see significant opportunity for sustained business research with industrial partners. It's time to welcome you on board. My name is Andreas Mogensen, and I'm an engineer and scientist who lives and works in orbit. It's a journey that started for me as a child. Join us on the journey that keeps moving humanity forwards and outwards as our remarkable society expands off Earth. Together, we're becoming a spacefaring species. What will you do in orbit for your business, for humanity? The only limit is your imagination.